Hello, this is Cameron from Flight Director, and today we're going to be talking about P Factor. P Factor is something that's not discussed much in simulators and, and can ruin your video quite easily and, and can be a, a real bothersome trouble when you're trying to take off. To simplify things, we're not going to go into why P Factor happens, we're just going to go into how to cure it and ways you can get around it. Now, what P Factor is, is if you've ever taken off an, air, an aircraft in FSX, it nearly always veers to the left without you doing anything. Um, it can veer to the right if it's a certain type of aircraft, but they're very they're rare. It's it's nearly always veering to the left. There's a few ways you can overcome this problem. Most obviously is inputting rudder, because rudder controls your nose wheel of your aircraft and the rudder, which is situated on the tail. Now the nose wheel, you're going to obviously want to steer in the opposite direction to the way the plane's pulling. So if it's pulling to the left, you're going to put a bit of right rudder in. If it's pulling to the right, you're going to want to put a bit of left rudder in. Now P factor is seen most clearly on takeoff because of the high power setting. In aircraft such as the A2A Mustang, it's actually incredibly difficult to control. And I'm now going to show you another way to deal with P factor is to turn off the P factor in the FSX settings. This is done as follows. First of all, you click settings, then the realism tab. Then on realism, you can see there's a setting that's called P factor. You simply drag that to nothing, click OK and then save your setting. Now you'll have absolutely no p-factor and you'll go straight down the runway not having to correct a thing. So if you can deal with it, great. If you can't deal with it, that's a way to get rid of it. That's pretty much it from this episode.